channel on today's video I figured I wanted to review and do a look on the new Jaclyn Hill palette which looks like this right here I'm going to be reviewing this swatching some shades not all of them but some shades and doing a eye makeup look so if you guys want to keep on watching please make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you turn on that notification bell to get notified when I upload videos and please give it a thumbs up at the end if you like the video so yeah, let's go ahead and get started so first of all this is what the actual um, outside package looks like and I got this from morphe on morphe.com and I believe it is, let me check right here, it is $39 and it has 35 shades. So I believe there's a couple of um, formulas in here. I, there is, it says there's matte, satin, and shimmering. And I was pretty sure there was a pressed glitter. It doesn't say press glitters, but I know there's um, three, if not more, of different formulas. So that's what the actual packaging looks like, and on the back, it just has all the information with her with her gorgeous picture in there. She's so gorgeous, you guys. I think she's so pretty, with or without makeup. So I already opened the actual package, and the palette looks exactly like the outside of the box so this is what it looks like and oops it does have a protecting um shadow film so these are the shades right here these shades are so so pretty you guys like look at all those shades right there so once again this is the Jaclyn hill palette volume 2 i do have the first one which looks like this i have the old packaging and guys don't judge me mine looks a little bit crusty so this is what it looks like i actually had to write the names right there because it was just easier for me to tell you guys what shade i was using since these shadows since these palettes don't have the actual name on it well actually i'm i'm just noticing that this palette does have the names written here so i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that like those but these but this palette does have the names written in here the other one didn't have them so i love that they have the names in here because it's just easier for me to tell you guys what i'm using so once again this is the actual palette right here so i'm just gonna swatch some of the shades for you guys i'm not gonna swatch the whole entire thing because she does have a video on this palette swatching all the shades and i just i'm just not gonna swatch all these shades because it takes time so i think i'm only gonna be swatching let me see this one because it looks so pretty it's like a glittery one i definitely want to swatch the red one that one did have a little bit of fallout and i think i want to swatch this yellow one okay so as you guys can see though that looks pigmented already so let me just swatch the red one right here oh my god that's red and then i have this glittery one right here Ooh, that's so pretty like a champagne color and then this yellow one right here Ooh. okay that's bright they do have they do look a little bit um like it has fallout on them but once again once you put it on your lid it's way different i know a lot of people judge um, the shades by just swatching them but once you have them on your eyelid and work with them it's totally different so I'm gonna be doing a look with this palette you know I do not get paid by Morphe to talk good about this palette I'll tell you guys if I like it or not Morphe doesn't even know who I am so I am not getting paid to talk good about this palette and I do love Jacqueline Hill. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and actually she's the uh, one who inspired me to do YouTube and do makeup. So I do like her but if I don't like the palette I am not going to lie to you guys. So 
I hope this turns out like the first palette because the first palette is so pretty and the shadows work perfectly okay I do want to mention something that there's been going around the internet social media Jacqueline at first said that this was the same original formula as her first palette which is totally vegan and then they found out that Morphe had changed the formula without Jacqueline Hill um, knowing and it's not vegan anymore so if you are vegan and you don't use products that are not vegan this is not vegan so just letting you just letting you guys know that this palette is not vegan like the first one so just putting that out there okay so I really don't mind because I'm not vegan so I'm gonna use all these shades not all of them but I'm gonna be doing a look as you guys can see I already have my skin prepped I have foundation I have everything on except for my eyes but if you guys want to know what I'm using on my skin I did film a video on my every on my chit chat get ready with me it's the exact same thing I just removed my shadow to do this one so if you guys are wondering what it is um, if you guys want to check that video out you'll see what I used so as a look of this palette there's a bunch of colors and there's um, wearable colors I don't want to go with the wearable colors because I want to do something different and try out the colorful ones I wanted to do like one eye natural and one eye with the colorful ones but I think I'm just gonna do the colorful ones and then later on I'll just do like a natural look with them so I think I want to go like in this section right here because that's actually like out of my comfort zone and I did want to try new stuff so I'm gonna be grabbing just a blending brush and this is the Morphe R37 brush if you guys want to get Morphe brushes and don't want to buy one by one they do have a subscription bag box with brushes and that's usually how I get mine I have a subscription it's $20 a month and it gets you um, brushes every month so if you guys are interested in that I will leave that in the description box below so you guys can go and check that out if you want to I just feel like it's an easier way to buy brushes because you get um, kind of like different brushes on the pack so I'm going to go in with a crease shade. I think on the crease shade I am going to be using um, something nude. Maybe I'll do this one which is called Perfectionist. And I'm just going to go real lightly into my crease. As you guys can see this is a very nude shade. It does have like a little bit of pink on it like a mocha pink but I just want something in there so I can actually blend all the other shades I think the shade on itself is so pretty so moving on I'm gonna grab another brush and I just want something a little bit more flat just because I want to pack on the shades first and then I want to you know just work them in so I think I'm gonna I think on the inner part, I'm going to do this yellow one. I think I'm going to start with this one. It does have fallout, but once again, I don't mind the fallout if I know they are pigmented. So I'm going to be applying... Ooh. I'm going to be applying this on the inner part of my eye. Oh my god, you guys, I look so pretty. And I'm just going to be packing it first. Just pat it in there. In place oh my god this yellow is so pretty and it's so bright you guys I don't think the camera is really picking the color that well but this color is so bright so I'm just going to be applying that on the inner part of my eye just like that later on I'll go back if I have to I think I want to pack all the shades with this one so I'm just going to be using this thing right here which removes all the shadows from it I got that from Amazon but I know Morphe sells one I basically every brand already sells them so now I'm going to be using this orangey right here which is called feeling myself I'm going to be applying that next to that yellow one right here just pack it in there 
these shades are so pigmented you guys i don't know i'm kind of liking this so i'm just going to be applying that right here once again i'm going to remove all the shadow from that brush and then i'm going to be using this bright pink you guys this bright pink looks so pretty it looks way different on camera than it actually is but i'm going to be applying this next to that oh my god you guys this reminds me of mac lipstick candy yum yum oh my god this is so pretty you guys look at that and it is so so pigmented Oh my god, I love this shade. I should have done a Valentine's look with this. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to place it there for right now. And I'll blend it later on. And then for my outer V, I'm going to be doing this purple right here. As you guys can see, I went from a lighter to the dark one. So, oh wow. You guys, these shades are extremely pigmented, like extremely pigmented. I'm going to show you the palette right now so you guys can see the actual fallout that I'm getting. I am getting um, fallout, but like I said, I don't mind the fallout as long as they are pigmented. So, let me just apply this right here. So I can show you guys the palette. I know it looks messy right now, but we're going to clean it up. I don't know if you guys can actually... Uh, you're not, you're not, I don't think you're going to be able to see it with this camera. But it does have fallout, but like I said, I don't mind because I know these shades are pigmented. So I'm, I have to blend my crease because this just looks crazy right now. So I think I'm going to be using this shade right here which is called Heart On. It's more like a pink reddish and I'm just going to maybe from the inner part right here. I'm going to be blending all this. Oh wow. Yep. That looks so pretty you guys. Right now, I'm going to have to go back in with the shades just to brighten everything up a little bit. So I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm going to go in the order that I... I should have cut my crease, but I, I forgot to and I just didn't. So I'm going to do the yellow first just because I want it a little bit brighter. And I'm going to do that orange that I got. So I'm basically just going over everything all over again. Let me just use this thing right here because I can see better. And for this look, I should have used my patches, but I, I don't know. I didn't use them. That pink went away. So I'm just going back and putting some more. You guys, that pink is so pretty. And then finally, I'm going in with the purple. Okay, there it is. I'm going to grab this small brush and then just wipe everything in here. And I'm going to grab a wipe. I have a bunch of wipes here already that I've used. I'm going to grab one and then just clean under here. Okay, so now that I have this, that's what it looks like right now. These shades, you guys, are so pretty. So I'm going to be doing the same thing on the bottom lash so i'm gonna just be grabbing a pencil brush and this is the morphe m455 so i'm going to be doing exactly the same thing i'm going to start with the yellow and then the orange and then the pink finally the purple I'm 
So there you go. I'm just going to be puffing this a little bit on here. And I feel like I should add some kind of glitter over here. I have this Urban Decay glitter. And it's in the shade Starfire. So I am going to be making this little line right here which i like to make see something like that it just gives it something extra since we're already going extra here i just figured i would do that oh my god you guys that looks so pretty right there okay so i'm going to be applying my eyeliner and my lashes off camera and i'll be right back Okay guys, so I applied my lashes and my lipstick. For my liquid lipstick, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you guys what I use real quick. I use the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and I use the shade Calabasas and Mannequin. And for my lashes, I use what I always use, the Lisa Lashes and the Styles Liz. I do have a coupon code, so I'll leave that in the description box below if you guys want to go check them out. So, so my final thoughts on this palette is, yes, it is very pretty and very pigmented. Don't mind what's going on right here on this eye. I didn't let the glitter liner fully dry before I opened my eyes and it got all over my crease. But it still looks pretty. It doesn't look messy, but this one looks more straight. So just don't mind the situation right here. So as I can see, um, the shadows are very, very pigmented. And I love this shades. Um, I really wouldn't use this to go out on, you know, grocery shopping or out and about. But if you want to do something fun or if you do like these kind of shades, this is perfect. But I would usually go more like for the nude side. But these shades are pretty and, you know, once in a while, if you want to wear like a pop of color or whatever, you can. So I really like this palette. I give it a go. It is so pretty and it is also great to have in your collection if you're like a makeup artist or something because there's a bunch of shades there and you can do a lot of looks with it. So... With that being said, I do like the palette and I think it's so pretty. It is not patchy at all. It is super, super pigmented. I think this is the most pigmented palette that I've seen other than Jeffree Star's. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what other looks you would like to see. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Oh, 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 o